Alrighty. Now, I guess we should proceed on with the main quest. Or do you think it's time for us to do a little bit of side questing? Since we have our first side quest. Or do we want to start the inevitable time bomb? That is the uh, creator side supply quest line. Well, I do like it. It's not my favorite quest in the game. Um, maybe um, that that's partially has to do with the fact I don't like. I don't like. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. <sighs> I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? I like her personality. I don't like her voice. Personal opinion. I don't know, maybe it was an off day for the voice actor. Maybe that this was the voice that they thought fitted Moira Brown. I don't like Moira's voice. It feels like nails on chalkboard to me. I love her personality. I can even think she's funny. But her voice just sucks me right out of it. It sucks the joy right out of me. Sure, I've got plenty of life. I've Just done, you know, like killed a couple people, a killed some rad roaches, life, or, or came to this town, time, or murdered a drugger, or maybe potentially a prostitute, and um, looking for my dad. And now I'm in Crater Side Supply. Yay me! Uh, let's see. Outside is an amazing place. Can't see the <laughs> ceiling. Yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. You can actually That's get up there? I can't imagine how long that ladder is. All that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Is he going to pay me well, or are we going to pay me moderately? I'd like to be paid well. What's this book you're working on? It's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot. At me, with mean, mean words. Well, I mean, if people got hurt, that's kind of why they would. Tell me more about the oh, pay. Uh, caps, chems, meds, and maybe even a few unique inventions. If you do a good job, I'm sure I've got something that'll catch your eye. With a little ingenuity, you can turn a pile of junk into a mountain of caps. And there's no shortage of junk. So, will you help out? I guess so. All right then. Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you <laughs> want to do first? Um... I mean, I guess we should probably start with getting... Radiation could well, could do that right away. Help for, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. I lots about it from so now I'm yawning there. It's getting get close to my bedtime. So for long, anyway. probably so give it an, uh, about 25 more minutes. And I'll probably call it a day so for the stream. And then I'll probably stress. stream well, hopefully dose, some more course. tomorrow. I can fix you up before that. But definitely will be doing having fun. Fear not. Oh, but nothing beats a real-world example. And I have a new rad treatment I was just... But I guess you're right. And at least it keeps you safe and sound for later testing. 
Here's some spare cams for your help. Thanks. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Oh, we're gonna go with food. Just because well, it's closer. Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay. I'll check it out. Oh, great. Food is most important. But see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Sure thing. I want the reward for this anyway. Try. Thank you. I will try not to die. I forget. Is the, uh... Armored vault suit better than the actual vault suit I'm wearing. It is. I forgot it was. Oh, hey, Moira. I have some stuff so, to sell to you. How's the scabbing been? Uh. Oh, well, could you get. Hey, don't get upset at me. I have other shit to do. Like, you know, sell you a bunch of shit I'm not gonna use. Like my BB gun, my baseball bat, my brass knuckles. How do you feel about armor? Yeah, you like armor. You can have all the jumpsuits. I think they're virtually useless. Um, admittedly, I think that's all I really wanted. Thank you for the caps. Good hunting. Um, yeah. See. And then I guess I suppose we will head on our way. We'll continue our look for our dad a little later on in the timeline. For right now, just wanna just wanna make some money, make sure we can prepare ourselves, get ourselves well equipped to survive this world. Which I actually have a quest line that I plan to do a little early on. I have to do a little research into it. I'll do uh Fuck you, I'm not giving you any water. I got none for you. Um. Oh yeah, I'm also going to show off a little secret I know about. That not, well, I mean, everyone who plays Fallout pretty regularly might know. There is a rock behind this building that are surrounded by a couple, three little burnt out trees that is completely hollow and full of weapons and goodies. I like weapons, and I like goodies. I think we get ourselves some. Nope, bad mole rat, bad mole rat. Mole rat, I didn't want to have to kill you. I wanted to save you for a quest. What the fuck? Why, why did you come over here and help? Uh, now I feel like I have to give you something. Alright, fine. I guess we can go into vats and show off some bad action. Get fucked, mole rat. Alright, and we found this rock. So yeah, make sure if you don't have any weapons... I mean, I don't imagine you'll die to mole rats. You might. It, weirder things happen. But you get a hollowed out ro rock with a sniper rifle and a few other goodies with it. And you also get a little note from it. Uh, DLC. Moriarty's intel on dad. His password. S. Here's that stuff you wanted. If anyone asks where you got it, say it was a gift from your grandma. Happy hunting. E. And like, go ahead and listen to what our dad had to say. I need to record this first. I. I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. Yeah, you kind of abandoned your kid. A long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. 
Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. Yeah, that, that checks out. Life in the vault isn't perfect. That but checks out. Be safe. Just I did attempt. Enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. Alrighty, well, go ahead and failed our first first skill check. Bloat flies are just annoying enemies. I didn't even know there was a slave back here with an explosive. What the? F where, where did you guys come from? I actually don't know. So I'm gonna have to ask you to die now. You open fire on me. This is self defense. This is all self defense. You guys see this? This is clearly self defense. Clearly, that was self defense. She was armed and shot at me first. Self defense. Not how anyone could look at that and say it wasn't. You know, some people would argue that that was murder. And I would argue to those people, no. It was self-defense. She may have put her gun away and was running, but that what may look like to the untrained eye. You see, that was actually a tactical retreat to a position in which she could have a tactical advantage behind cover by luring me into a false sense of security with her quote-unquote putting her weapon away. It was to lead me into lowering my guard so that way she could have the surprise. And I am just too clever for her policies of is that the right word? No, we're just gonna go. We don't want to make ourselves not looked up. Before her tricks and her clever ruse, we will emerge victorious over the quagmire. What's red over here? Is it a bloat fly? No, oh, it's ants. Guys, the first time I ever played this game, I had an experience with an ant. That scared the living crap out of me. Little ten, like little ten year old me. Playing Fallout for the first time. There was just this, the, I'll, I'll point it out later. But there was just a certain time. In which I just saw an ant. And it freaked me out. It really freaked me out. To the point that, uh, you know, every once in a while I have a nightmare about giant ants attacking me. I know, it's really weird. But, you know, it's like having a dream about being attacked by dogs. Now, I understand you're going to say, but, you know, giant ants aren't real. And you're right. But, you know, what if you're unprepared for giant ants and they become real? Think about that. And, uh, lo and behold, you'll find in my, my, uh... Weird, weird fear is perfectly validated with just that one sentence. Thank you very much, and welcome to my TED Talk. You most likely will not find proper help here. Why? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Why? Why? Why is there... Why was there again? What? What? I didn't save. And I also have a fear of bears. Specifically those assholes. I... <sighs> the... F like, the second random encounter I run into. The first random encounter most people run into. And it... It was a fucking Galgwai. Those are supposed to be, like, 
you know, mid to late game. Mid to late game enemies. You know, I'm 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 only I'm only level level two. Beautiful. Genius, some would say. Mwah. Now, some of you are like, oh, so that's really off-putting to play in the game. It's a random encounter. The game has uh, a wide selection of encounters when you run into a random encounter. For what the random encounter can be. And it's almost entirely random. Like, I think there's like 103 different scenarios for every random encounter. I could be wrong. I'm probably way off. I'm just kind of trying to remember of my vague, vague knowledge I did on this many, many years ago back, like, when I was obsessed with this game when I was, like, 12. I mean, granted, I still love this game, and every once in a while I'll give it a replay because those random encounters actually change your experience of how you play. And now we're just going to throw in a quick save. So we don't have to run back to that rock anymore. I probably should have quick saved when I saw the Yao Guai, but uh, I didn't feel like being stuck in an infinite death loop. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get one a little better. Hopefully one that won't uh, kill me in three hits would be preferable. Ah, yes, the last on the road again. Going places I hope to never see again. I don't even... Yeah, now it's a Guana on the stick. How disappointing. Is the ammo? Yeah, it's less ammo too. That's saddening. Help! This bomb is about to... Uh. Sorry, bud. Really, uh... Really couldn't help with that. Uh, where'd your corpse go, though? You have ammo? You do. You have a frag grenade, too. Sorry about not being able to help you. I can at least kill your uh, slavers. Uh, hey, pull up my pit boy, please. Thank you. We are getting a little roasted. Uh, so that is, we'll just go ahead and use a couple of stim packs. Got bad news for you, Captain Tino. No survivors. You pull the trigger on me once, you're dead. Guess what? You pulled the trigger on me a few times. Now look at you. You're dead. Can't say you didn't get what you deserved, though. You did kind of put a, you know, explosive collar on a man. And he kind of exploded. I, uh, don't, don't know why you guys would ever think that was a good idea and or that you should do that. Slavery's not appealing. Just not. I mean, unless you're evil and a tyrant. But if you're evil and a tyrant, you should probably reconsider. You know, in the words of Bill Nye, the science guy, consider the following. I'm gonna have to... Oh man, I really, really dislike fighting rat scorpions. Oh, I got stuck on a rock. I have to die now. Thank you. You, you terrify me. Anything that can almost kill me terrifies me. Ch chat, just a little heads up. If you're like, oh, my streamer's, my streamer's a uh, little, little skinny cat. Well, motherfucker, you saw a giant scorpion in real life, you would be too. I had a fascination with arachnids when I was little. 
It, it earned me a well-deserved fear of arachnids. Well-deserved fear of arachnids. All right. Well, this place clearly isn't safe. There's dead bodies everywhere. Normally, I have to silence 10 millimeter when I come through here. So I acquire it through various means. So you don't see shit. We're gonna loot you. Alright, we're hidden. Sniper monkey. All right, well, that's a couple baddies down. Do -do 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 -do. We got some shub machine gun. I don't think we'll wind up using it. I think it doesn't have very good damage. Like, at all. You're just annihilating me. Thank God for Simpax. Hey, can you die? Ow. Who, who threw that? Uh, you're gonna have to ask you to die and then you to die. Oh, I guess we could just crit him. Um, hello, you, you, you good? You just chilling? Watch your friend die, and now you're just chilling? I can respect that. You know, to a point, though. Oh, hey, okay, some 10 millimeter ammo. How lovely. Oh, let's turn on our pit boy light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess we have to do the terminal route. Uh, warning. Handgun. Raiders. Nope. Failure wouldn't be it either. Hmm. Not gonna be gaining, it doesn't end in nine G. Passion. Fair enough, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna go over to the next level for that. Disengage a lot. We level up. And we've done so in relatively safety. Get that up to 50. And then I imagine. Um, let's get a repair up to 30. And then what do we want to level up from here? Can't think of anything in melee I particularly want. Maybe just in the sneak, maybe? Or maybe, you know, let's put in the barter. I want better prices. I, I never deal with high barter, but 
Man, I want cheaper things. Uh, what can I take here? I got that would be nice. Tense training would also be nice. Um, let's go ahead and raise, I think, our strength up. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Interesting. That's what you do? Yeah, you're not wrong. Things are not right. Ah, oh, yes, Nuka Cola Quantum. Start collecting you. Any other ones, sir? Oh, no, there's one of you. Ah, oh, I was going to hack this. Piled river. Um. Piles. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll just back out. Back in. Oh, uh, wait. Perfect. See? And that's a sometimes faster method. If you just want to get in, instead of using your brain. Try and turn off my pit boy light so I'm less visible. Right, we'll go ahead and continue looting this place. And I think after we get out of this place, we will call it the end, I think. Auto cap mine, always valuable. Auto cap mine always valuable. Um do 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 banana man. Do 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 banana man. This is the way we're doing it. I actually never realized that there's a pathway up here. Let's see, what are our chances? Eh, I'll take those chances. I'll miss. Oh, there we go. Oh, you know, fair enough. There's a critical strike. Hey, no, bad. You too. And that firefight's over. Money. Oh, I guess we'll take some water. It's a good thing we took that extra point in strength. We'd be over capacity right now. Oh, there's one more. How'd that work out for you, bud? Didn't. Didn't think it would.
Oh, I'm over encumbered. Aid? Let me eat some food. Read a book, drink some water. Ramen steak. Good talk. Well, I call that very successful. I think next time we'll continue on with this quest line, finish chapter one, maybe do some of chapter two. I don't know if I'll do all of it immediately or not, but at least that's what I have for right now. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching on YouTube if you are watching. Thank you for watching live if you are live. I appreciate you guys being here. And if you guys ever want to catch my content live, go over to twitch.tv slash deathylive and you can catch me live when I'm streaming. The hours vary at the moment. Um, I'm At the moment, I'm streaming Monday, Tuesday. Thir uh, I'm streaming sometime during uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is my current stream schedule because I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But if you guys ever want to catch me live, go ahead and go over to my my uh, go over to my Twitch. Follow me there. Make sure you have it set so you get notifications so you can catch me live whenever I'm live. Um, if you're of the EU audience, you might have a little bit more luck catching me live because I tend to stream a little earlier in the morning for the Americans. So that's going to be you know probably better for you guys in the EU. But anyway, thank you guys for joining very much, and you guys have a good night.